What's up YouTube? Welcome back to Horizon Home Theater. Today we're going to get into the interface of the Zapiti. I had a couple of you guys ask for this after having it for about a month or so. I feel comfortable going ahead and going through this with you. So we're going to get into it right after the intro. Mm -hmm. So on startup of the Zapiti, you see the big Z. Uh, you can set this to where it will directly go to your videos, or you can set it to where it'll go to what's called an explorer. I have it set to this screen to start. Now, like I said, you can set it to go right to your videos. I'm gonna go up here to this settings button here. Now in this settings button, you have your Wi-Fi, Ethernet, display settings, app settings, um, memory playback. I haven't messed with the memory or anything like that too much. Um, other, the only thing I've really messed with is the, is just the network settings. Um, uh, the the time and dates automatically done. There are some developer options. Um, haven't really dived into them too much, but uh, if we take a look at them. I can say that I'm, I'm very happy with the Zapiti. Uh, it does take a while to burn your collection. For me, I didn't want to have to uh, purchase all new media all over again when I already had it. So this seemed like the most economical way for me to actually uh, put, my, put my, all my files in one space and then be able to access them, something, something like a Netflix. So you have video, explorer, and music. I don't really have any music on here, so there's, there's nothing in here that I, that I have. Um, explorer is exactly what it is. It's like a file explorer for Windows. Um, this is an Android-based system. It does access a lot of stuff just like Windows. As you can see, I have local drives. The, I have the uh, Zapiti Pro 4K version, which has two hard drives in the front, which currently I'm only using one bay. And then it also has several USB ports. Take a look at the Zapiti video that I did uh, showing you all the different ports and functions. I, I labeled my drives of PDB. And like, just like your file explorer on your computer, it will go through and you can look at each movie and uh, you can actually play stuff from here. So would you like to see the launch menu? Now the launch menu is just like your DVD where you set your subtitles, your language. So if I wanted to just play A Quiet Place here, I'm not going to play much of it, obviously for copyright reason, but uh, I can start the movie right here from this from this position in the explorer now going back to the explorer this is one way to check to make sure that all your files are showing up you go to video and it loads your collection here it'll log you into their server which there, sir, you can actually access your collection of videos on a computer. You cannot play them through the computer, but you can do all the editing and you can do all of the adjustments that you, that you can do on the Zapiti. You can do it on the computer and it is much faster. I can actually do it from my phone also because it's Android based. I can download the app and then I can go in and I can change the actual, uh, metadata around. So let's say I want to look at 4K movies that I have. Now I currently have this set up to view in a picture wall. 
So these are the current 4K movies that I have, and I do have additional ones. I just haven't uh, gone through and um, identified some of them. Uh, for the most part, the Zipedi does identify all your files. It will put the correct metadata. Let's take a look at 1917 here. As you can see down the bottom, it's showing me it's a 239 to 1 Dolby Atmos. Uh, it was a 4K HDR and it's in Dolby Vision. Now I can adjust all that by hitting the menu button here and I go to edit. I can actually change the picture of the move of the cover of the movie that I want. So if I wanted it to be this cover rather than the black one, I can do that. And it will actually change it, as you can see, up in the top left, it changed the, cut, the picture. Now if I want to change the background, I can also change the background. So whenever I pull up that movie, there's a background. There's also a lot of times there's music playing. I got the volume all the way down now, so you can't hear the volume, but you can see that the background now has changed. Now this uh, Zipedi has just issued an update. Uh, before the menu wasn't as easy to navigate as it is now. So I'm gonna go over to the menu and start with settings. So I'm going to add a folder containing movies from my local drives and from the easy store drive that I have. So now I can select the folder that I want to add. I'm going to be adding a 4K Blu-rays. You don't want to go in and add each individual one. All you need to do is add the 4K Blu-ray folder. If I want to add other folders, same thing, local drives, easy store. And I'll go to Blu-ray, add a folder, add a, another movie folder, Easy Store, 3D. I only have one 3D, but I'm still going to add that folder. All right, and as soon as I hit the back button here, the Zipedi will actually look at and identify using the moviedb.org with IMBD or TMBD. So you can actually switch back and forth of the, through these two websites on the Zipedi to be able to pull as much metadata for your movies. All right, so for about 40 movies, it identified in, I would say, about two minutes and 30 seconds. So let's see what it identified and what it did not. All right, the way to do that is I'm gonna press the menu button. The next button down says that I have six of the movies to identify. So if I click on that, and you'll see that I have six different files on here that I need to identify that it's not picked, that it has not picked up the metadata for. And these particular TV shows and movies are not showing in my collection. They're not showing pictures on my wall of, uh, of movies currently until I actually go in and identify these. So we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to do that. So you hit identify. Then what I do is I hit the button again and then it says D3 on the end. So that's probably the reason why it's not identifying it. So I'm going to delete this. And don't worry, you're not deleting the file name. It still will keep the current item name up at the top. So then I'll go down here to Band of Brothers. And it will let me choose between Special or Season 1, which I believe there's only one season. I know it's disc three, but I cannot, I don't know exactly what episode it is. Doesn't matter to me. Um, I, I can always go back and fix it, but I'm gonna just choose this episode here. Then I hit okay. And now that particular file 
has been identified and added to my collection. So now you see I only have five to identify. I can actually create files without identifying them. You can put your own home movies on this particular device also. So you can burn your own content to the, to the Zipedia if you like. To do that, I just go, I, I add it to my hard drive. I hit the menu button. I go into settings. And then I go down here to add a folder containing personal videos. So I add that folder. Go to local drives. Let's say I put it on the easy store and then I start looking for whatever subfolder it's in. Now I've been told by the engineers at Zipedi that it's better not to have subfolders, meaning that you create two folders, TV shows and movies, and that's it. And you dump all your files directly into those couple of folders. That is, that is it. They, they said that the Zipedi actually reads the metadata better without it being in subfolders. Now, I did have some issues with it picking up the movie being 4K. And the reason that that was happening is because when I rip my movie, I'd rip it into MKV form. And with the MKV form, there are several subfolders. Now, one of the parameters that Zipedi uses to identify whether a movie is 4K or not is the size of the file. So if I rip an ISO file with DVD fab or any DVD, it creates a large file. And I think the parameter is like anything over 45 gigs, they label it as a 4K. So we actually found a workaround. You name the movie or the folder with, let's say 1917, and you put 4K in the title, it will actually pick it up as a 4K movie and it will put it into that 4K category for you. All right, here's, here's what I, an example that I was talking about. This was burned as an MKV file. The file itself has subfolders, therefore does not show the total size of the main folder. So it's not labeled as a 4K because that is one of the parameters. So I, I gotta go in here, I gotta label that as a 4K. I hit back. Do you wanna save? Yes. All right, the other thing that I notice is that with the, it doesn't have the 4K banner across the top of the movie. So what I wanna do is change the picture. As mentioned before, if I just hit the same picture again, a lot of times it will pick it up. And it did, it picked up the 4K banner across the top. Now, when you click into the movie, it doesn't show it on this particular set, uh, section. But when you look at your wall, it does show 4K UHD on the top. Let's say I wanted to delete this particular movie. I can delete it. Now, do I want to remove it from the Zipedi only, or do I want to delete it from the disc? Let's say, and I've had this happen, on one of my movies. Let's say uh, I was Fast and the Furious, as a matter of fact, it, it picked up a, a movie called Fast and the Furious from like the 60s. And I couldn't figure out how to get rid of it. So what I did was I went to the movie and I pressed remove from Zipedi. Then I went back in and did an identification again and boom, picked up the right Fast and the Furious movie in this uh, particular section here. I'm using the English, obviously, silver or classic. Now, I prefer the silver look. The classic look is, is a red look. It looks just like the Explorer screen that we showed you. The picture wall here, I can do three, three lines, four lines, two lines, or I can just have a full picture wall of the movies. 
I actually prefer the three lines. I'm not sure what the show glass effect is. Uh, activate new uh, menu, I'm not sure of that. I'm just gonna go through some of these, these uh, menus with you. Video options, allows the PD to update the visual status, activate the sequence of the episodes, and then you wait five uh, seconds between. This is the one that uh, I set up, launch the file identification on the, the Zipedia at startup. Now what that does is it actually accesses those websites that I spoke about and it will check the metadata to see if it's been updated on a certain movie or if you've added a movie, it will then pull that metadata for that movie and add it to your collection. The Zipedia will also Put your movies into groups. If we go and look at the Friday the 13th collection, I bought the whole box set of that. So there should be all the Friday the 13th movies in here. And some of them, I, I got duplicates, and the reason for that is I did the theatrical version and I did the uh, uncut version. The Zipedia remote has a page up and a page down button, so it makes it very easy to navigate through these menus. Let's go to the Born collection down here. So as you can see, I have, the, I have all the Borns, and actually they're all in 4K. So what I need to do, as you can see, this particular one right here, it's actually telling me it's Blu-ray on the top, which it's really a 4K disc. So for me to change that, I hit the menu button while I'm here. I go over to edit, and it will allow me to change everything on this, I can even type in a new description if I want to. The title, the length, the synopsis, the language, ratio, container. It, what's the resolution of it? Is it 4K, UHD, uh, is it HDR, is it Dolby Vision, HDR 10 plus? I can change all this data in the, in the Zipedi. And as I mentioned before, you can do all of this from the computer and it's actually a little bit easier to navigate with the mouse. So now you see that it changed to 4K HDR. Now if I want to change that picture, I go to edit and then change picture. And I'll go to that 4K ultra picture because I know that it's a 4K movie because it's a 4K collection. And now it's showing up as the Born Identity 4K. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna play this just to make sure that it's the 4K disc. Now on the, the remote, the number buttons let you go to the percent of the movie. So if you press one, it'll go to 10%. Press two, it'll go to 20%. See how it's going? It says go to 30, go to 40, go to 50. All right, as you can see, the video is being broadcast at 3840 by 2160. So this is definitely a 4K movie. So sometimes the, the Zipedia just does not pick it up that it's a 4K movie and you have to do a little editing. I will say that it gets about 85 to 95% of those right. So let's go to this one right here, this Born. Now I'm in the 4K category. So that one actually picked it up, but the top banner is not showing in 4K. So I'm gonna go into this I'm going to go to edit, I'm going to go to change picture. Now a lot of times 
if you like that picture. That one is a 4K, but if you like that picture there, a lot of times if you select the same exact picture and you back out, as you can see, it's now showing for a 4K banner up at the top. I'm going to do the same thing here, hit the menu button and then hit change picture. And now it's showing 4K. The other thing that I like to do, I know these are in the 4K category. The other thing I like to do is actually check to make sure the categories are correct. And the way that you do that is you go into the menu and then you hit edit, go to the edit, and then you also do related categories. So right now it's categorizing this as action, thriller, and you can see there are many different categories that you can choose from. One thing it's not choosing is 4K though. So I'm gonna highlight that and then we're gonna back out of that. Do you wanna save the changes? Yes, because it is a 4K movie. And then we'll go back and I'll go back in here just to double check to make sure that it did save that. So now it is showing 4K. Now it is showing 4K. The biggest thing that I should, can say is, is that knowing what the menu button does at certain times. The menu button has an array of functions. So if I'm playing a movie back and I want to change the subtitles, I want to change the uh, audio to um, master DTSX rather than Dolby Atmos, I hit the menu button and then that will then bring up the, the subtitles and so on. Or you can set them in that title screen that it asked you for. So right now I'm hitting the menu button. If I go down here and hit the menu button, you see it brings up a bunch of different menus. But if I am on, a, on this, uh, this is called Recents, you can change this also to show what you want. You can rename a group, you can add a module. So whatever's been on the top, I can set it as what has been seen, what has been not been seen, and it will pop those movies up for me. Uh, you can also go into Collection Status. That will give you a list of all your movies. So I have 645 movies currently with 162 in 4K and 54. Now there are more. I'm still going through and, and changing some of the, uh, the metadata or the categories uh, to, but 645 is, is exactly what I have. Now this actually lets you calibrate your Zipedi, gives you different test patterns. I have a 4K Sony 900E, there we go. So it said that the circle should be perfectly round. They look perfectly round to me. So one thing that um, I noticed, you can have multiple collections. Now, by default, Zipedi names every one of your collections, my collection. And then when you add a collection, it will add my collection too. Now if I wanted to change collections or edit the collection, I go to the menu button as you saw me do. And it actually will take me back to like the login screen. So this is the only place that you can actually do anything with your collection. So if I wanted to edit the collection, I can rename it or I can delete the entire collection. Let's say you wanted to make a different collection just for kids. So you can have a separate hard drive that you have all your kids movies on and you can make, you can just access that collection rather than opening up other movies. But the login page is the only page 
that you that I found that you can actually edit through your collection. Now, as mentioned before, the Zapiti is Android based. It does have the Google Play Store, so you can download the Netflix, all the all the main apps. Uh, you can download Prime, etc. You can you can download everything that's there. You just log into your Google account and then download all the apps. Here you can do factory resets. There are some service things that you can do here. Now I can set this to do auto or I can force the resolution or whichever resolution it will allow. How about I can change the way that it actually sorts the movies that I see on my wall from the release date, from the ratings, from recent editions. Let's see what my newest edition was. So it looks like Paranormal was my last recent edition. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Please like this video and share it with your friends. If you enjoy videos like this, go over to my friend's channel, John Anthony with Positron Hi-Fi. Check out the card above and check out his channel. If you have any questions about the Zipiti, uh, don't be bashful leave a comment down below and I'll try to answer the question to the best of my ability once again please check out the unboxing video of the Zipiti I'm going to leave that card right above and we'll see you in the next video mm -hmm.